Hey everyone, I'm Megan Zimba and we're here at IMTS 2024 and I'm with MTD CNC and I'm here with Rob Taylor. Hello Rob, how are you doing? Good afternoon. So I was talking to some people and when you hear IoT, a lot of people seem to not get very excited about it, but I get very excited about it and I'm sure you get very excited about it. I get it. very excited about it. So. Tell us what we have here and what it's demonstrating here at the FANUC booth at okay. IMTS. Well, what we have on display here is called MT-Link-I, and this is a FANUC software which monitors FANUC CNCs okay. and FANUC robots and also other pieces of equipment via MT-Connect protocol or OPC protocol. Okay. So it connects to all four different protocols. And this is your whole booth that you have outlined? This is a booth layout so we can see where all the equipment is and the current status of all the equipment. Okay. And we can click on something and enlarge that screen and see the current status of the equipment. So what is the benefit of that with shop owners? Like why is it important to see what type of status their machines are at? Well, various different reasons. One, if there's an issue, it can be immediately addressed mm -hmm. right away. Uh, secondly, we can take a look and see why a machine may not be running when you expect it to be running. Gotcha. So the, this machine that we just pulled up is in suspend, and the reason that is, we can see here easily that it's waiting on the machine operator because there's an operator message okay. generated in the park program. So are there other types of statuses that it records? So like one could be, you know, as it's stalled, what if like there's we have an un unexpected fire or something. Does it track that? Well, we keep track of operation status, disconnected, okay. alarms, emergency stop, suspend, which would be a situation where, like we just viewed, was um, a, a stop in a park program due to a macro, mm -hmm. or it could be single block, optional stop, or program stop. Okay. Uh, and stop condition is just idle, and then manual, that that can be customized, but typically if the uh, controller is in a status like edit or MDI, something to indicate that the machine operator is doing something manual with the machine. It's not really in production, it's just being like set up. Gotcha. So is this something that you can use to help operate a lights out sort of situation? So if there's something going on in the shop, the shop owner can be at home and checking it on a mobile device and then... Yes. That's really cool. Yes, you can you can view these screens on a tablet. Uh, you can also receive email notifications if an issue occurs, mm -hmm. and, and then we can also do um, CNC screen display and actually view the CNC screens. You, there was another screen that you showed me before we started filming, and it was kind of showing the status of each machine and what would need to be done. So, sort of like, how did you explain it, like with your car? Oh, oh. So what we were looking at there is with the, the robo drill machines, there's a periodic maintenance screen. So with this, it automatically gathers that data from each machine and sorts by which maintenance item needs to be addressed next. That's really cool. I need to do that more often in my car. <laughs> and very similarly, we can monitor tool life. So we're looking at the tool life management screens in each machine and bringing it to one central location and it auto sorts by which tools need to be replaced next. That's really cool. Well this year the theme for IMTS is inspiring the extraordinary. So how is a system like this really helping shop owners inspire something that's extraordinary for them? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, this software does so much, more than just status information. Uh, you can do a, an automatic scheduled memory backup every day of all your programs and parameters and offsets. And if there's a difference, you can quickly just view the difference between the two files. So this is pretty much a big wow factor here so that if someone suspects a part program has been modified, they can instantly see if it has or not. That's really cool. I feel like it's going to help companies really be more efficient, faster to produce things, 
and maintain a high quality of the parts that they're producing. Oh, absolutely. Well, Rob, thank you so much for joining me today. My I pleasure. I really appreciate it. I thought it was really cool that we got to see an alarm happen in real life and everybody rushed to go <laughs> see what the problem was. So it's super cool. So I'm Megan Zima. Thanks for joining us today. I'll see you guys soon.